Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you. Yes, you. Thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, please do me a favor and like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll let you know when I drop another video. And today what I want to do is actually talk about how the CWP file converts inside of Reaper. So if that's something that you guys are looking or interested in, I do have uh, a cakewalk to Reaper conversion file set up on my website. So you can actually do that inside of Reaper. So basically any CWP file that you've had in the past with audio and MIDI and all that stuff will actually transfer over into Reaper. Yes, it can be done. Um, so like I said, I've showed it on this channel before. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like inside of Reaper once you're actually moving the CWP file inside of Reaper. Uh, it's a little different. There's a lot of different things that'll pop up on there, but I want to show you guys exactly what kind of transfers over and what actually doesn't, right? So with that being said, you can just go to xeloh.com and you can download the CWP file that I have on here for free. That is the one I will be using in this video. So yeah, let's check it out. Let's see what's on there. Let's see what it does. Let's go. All right, so here we are inside of Cakewalk by BandLab, right? And this is the track that I've actually done. I'm gonna play it for you so you can actually hear it. All right, so that is what it sounds like. Um, I have a couple of effects on the track itself. Um, the thing about Cakewalk that people don't really talk about is how they make their tracks. So each track is combined together with the actual uh, instrument and then it's separated with the MIDI. So when you actually open up in Reaper, you'll see like there's several different ones in there and it'll make like folders inside of Reaper to make it look like something that it's really not. Uh, so what I want to do is kind of show you guys what I'm talking about, right? So let's take these strings right here, for example. I'm going to right click on here, right? And it gives you an option that says split instrument track. So this is what you will see inside of Reaper, right? So you have the actual instrument. This right here is the actual instrument, and this is the MIDI. So you'll see an instrument track, and then you'll see a MIDI track. So this is how it actually creates this inside of of Reaper as well. The only difference that you're going to see though, is that they'll make this MIDI track into a folder. So it'll seem like there's so much more tracks, but it's really the same thing that Cakewalk does. This is how they actually make all their tracks to look. So it seems like it's together, but it's really separated, right? So I'm going to bring them back together. I'm just going to click on these two, right click in here and right here, uh, make instrument track. Right. So now it's combined back again. So I just wanted to show you guys that. So when you open up Reaper, you won't think that it's not exactly what it is inside of Cakewalk. Like I said, there's a lot of layers to this in how Cakewalk actually routes and how Reaper actually routes. Right. So I'm going to bring up the console view. Right. Uh, for this kick, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a EQ on here just so that it has an EQ that you can kind of see. And I'm gonna turn on this compressor. So this compressor will not go over it in Reaper, right? The EQ, they'll have an option for an EQ. This console emulator won't be over there or this tube. Like, so if you do turn these on, they will not transfer over into Reaper, right? So like a lot of the pro channel stuff doesn't transfer over. The only thing that does transfer over is the EQ, right? So if you do put things inside the pro channel, and you, you're saying, why is it not showing up inside of Reaper? That would be the reason why, right? Uh, the same thing with uh, buses. So I'm going to remove this bus here. Uh, delete the preview bus. Uh, we're going to delete this bus as well. So now all we have is the master. I'm going to add a bus on here, right? Let's just say, let's do a reverb, right? I'm going to use the Sinitis reverb. So now we have a drum room reverb. Let's add that to the snare. I'm going to click on here and add this bus. Let's rename it to reverb so we'll know exactly what it is. It is very important to make sure you label all your things so you know exactly what stuff is. Because uh, when it goes over to another DAW or anything, you want to make sure you know exactly what everything is. 
It just makes life a whole lot easier, right? So what I want to do is make sure that I do, I change one of these into an audio file, just so when we um, go over and move it over to Reaper, we'll be able to see that change as well, right? And one of the things I do like about Cakewalk is that it does give you an option to bounce to track. So I'm gonna go up to tracks and I'm gonna hit on this that says bounce to tracks. Now I'm just gonna hit okay. And it's gonna bounce this one single thing into a track. So now we have the strings here and we have the MIDI here. Uh, I'm gonna kind of leave the MIDI on there um, maybe I should just mute it. I'm going to mute it just so it doesn't play. And I'm going to leave this audio file here and I'm going to play it real quick. Right. So we, so we have all that set up on here and we're going to save this and we're going to open this up inside of Reaper. So you're going to see that this one will actually add, uh, EQ on there because that's on there. These will actually have the same effects on them. And you'll also see a bus for your, your reverb on there and everything will go to a master track and then a main master track inside of Reaper. So let me show you how that looks. Let me go in, uh, save this and I'm going to save it here as the CWP file too. All right. So now that CWP file has been saved, I'm gonna hit okay. And let's check this out inside of Reaper. All right, so this Reaper is running from a flash drive. This is not set up on a computer. This is my seed. This is my cakewalk to Reaper file configuration. I set it up on a flash drive so you guys can kind of see exactly what you would get if you download that one. I would highly suggest to use the one that says Reaper configuration file for 2025. It has more updates, more things inside of it. But if you want to use this cakewalk to Reaper one, that one is perfectly fine. All right, so let's open up that file inside of Reaper. So basically all we want to do is grab this uh, hip hop beat, uh, the CW one free. And like I said, this is available on my website for free. If you want to download this CWP file, I'm just going to grab it and drag and drop it inside of Reaper. So I'm going to grab this here drag it in top of Reaper and boom, you have it uh, a little pop-up that shows up on here. And like I said, um, big shout out to Aslo. Thank you for making this conversion. Um, I believe he actually has one for studio one as well. Uh, let me know below in the comment section if you guys want to see one for studio one as well. I don't have studio one installed on this computer, but uh, let me know if you guys want to see that. All right. So, um, not everything is converted. Like I said, all the stuff inside the pro channel will not convert over. So you'll just see like the EQ if you have an EQ on there, but everything else will not. All right. So it's giving me the conversion warnings and I'm gonna hit okay. All right. So here we have it. This is what we will see inside of Reaper. Uh, as you see, there's a lot of files, right? So there's a lot of files down here at the bottom. All right. So, uh, like I said before, here is your master and here's the reverb that I have on there. So you have your master, you have your reverb. This is your buses, right? So your buses are all the way over here. So the SI strings that I muted is right here in the front. This is the muted one. I'm not sure why they moved it all the way up here, but this is where it is. Here is my kick. Here is my snare. Here is my hi-hat. And these are actually going all to this master here. This is this is the other master that goes to the main master. So this is your main master. This is the master from Cakewalk. This is how they have their output set up. And let me show you inside of Cakewalk real quick. All right, so inside of Cakewalk, you have a master and then you have the real output master. So that this real output master is the other master that you see inside. So this master is the same one that you see inside of Reaper. And this one is the main master output, right? But Reaper just has it as here, this master, right? And this is the regular master. This is the output master. If that makes sense, I hope it does. <laughs> all right. So as you see, all your tracks are here 
And if I play this, Right, so you have all the stuff from your track in here and it sounds exactly the same because you're using the same instruments and same everything It's just the fact that you're running it inside a Reaper. Like I said, each track is separated. So now, as you can see, there are separated tracks because that is how Cakewalk operates. It makes it where everything is separate. So here's my audio track. So if I solo this, Right, so you have the audio tracks that came over, and here are my uh, my synth rack is basically everything that's in the the synth part. So all of the synths and then the sounds all down here, as you can see, they're all separated. So the sound itself and the MIDI. I hope that made sense. So this is the sound itself and the MIDI. So the instrument, the MIDI, and the way it routes is gonna route up here to the sound. So let's say I solo the kick, right? As you can see down here, this kick is playing here. All right, so here is the kick here, and here is the MIDI. So you can see this is the MIDI, and this is the kick. And this kick is routed to the kick. It can be routed to the master, so you don't necessarily need this one up here. But as you can see, my EQ is here, so I added an EQ, remember? So here is the EQ from Reaper that has taken the place of the, the quad EQ from Cakewalk. So that is how it actually routes inside of Reaper. I hope this makes sense to you guys that it does it this way because of how Cakewalk actually combines their tracks. So you have an instrument track and you have a MIDI track. Right, so that is how it is actually set up and then it goes out and routes to those individual things. So that is why it shows like that inside of Reaper. But yeah, but everything else sounds the same. So you should be able to use this. Uh, if you wanna adjust things around and have less tracks, you can just move everything to the original kick right here. So if you wanna move that, you will have to move the SI drum kit over to here and then you should be able to actually hear that kick under here. And you would have to actually move this MIDI to the MIDI for this track. All right, and I forgot to say, if you are actually trying to save this file, uh, you, should, you should save it as a Reaper file. Uh, basically, you just go up to File, Go to save project as, and basically you just name it to whatever you want it to be named to. Make sure you create a subdirectory for the project and you copy all the media into the project directory. Um, this would be the best way to store and save it as a Reaper file. So any updates or anything that you need to be done will be saved inside of Reaper. There's one to add that in there. I always forget to tell you guys that, but yeah. So if you do convert it over CWP file, make sure you save as, make sure you create a subfolder and wherever location you wanna put it, make sure you put it there, all right? I know it sounds like a lot and it may be a little difficult uh, to, to grasp at first, but that would be the way you would have to do it inside of Reaper if you wanted to actually pull your Cakewalk files. But like I said, all your MIDI will be there or your audio will be there. Any effects that you put on the actual track will be there. Only thing that won't be there is the stuff from the Pro Channel. The only thing that does transfer over is the EQ. So if you do want to try this, it's available. It's out there. Shout outs to Aslo for making this possible. Um, big shout outs to Reaper and Cakewalk for being great DAWs and having them actually work together like this has saved me so many times. There's been projects that I've been working on inside of Cakewalk for some reason would not open in Cakewalk. So I had to open it with the CWP file inside of Reaper and I was able to get that project out. So if it's something that you guys are worried about, like your CWP files not being able to open, this should be a solution for you. 
if you want to actually do that. I have a video showing you how to set it all up, but if you feel lazy, you don't want to do that, and you want to actually have some of the cakewalk settings, you can do the cakewalk to reaper file on my website, xelohh.com. All right. And with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. I just wanted to show you guys exactly how it looks inside of Reaper when you're actually pulling your CWP files and why you may see more files inside of Reaper than you do see inside of Cakewalk. So I hope this explains that. I hope you guys actually try it out. Um, but yeah, once again, it's your boy x.e.l. Oh, until next time, people. Peace. Talk, 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 rewind.